Hey guys, it's Ben of Data Diaries again. Uh, today I want to show you how to generate an interactive entity relationship diagram uh, based on an object relational mapping in SQL Alchemy. So this is a pretty advanced topic and there are some prerequisites to follow along with this video. So first of all, you require a little bit of background knowledge about um, SQL Alchemy and object relational mapping. Um, also, you require an installation of MySQL Workbench on your local machine and uh, a working Docker installation. So if you already have all of this stuff or you want to follow along and watch some tutorials on how to set it up, um, this video is for you. I'm also going to post some useful links in the video description. So um, what are we actually trying to achieve? So imagine you've already implemented your database model um, using the object relational mapping technique and um, you now want to actually visualize the, the database in an entity relationship diagram, so something like this here, and not only check the Python classes in the code itself. So one option would be to use the Eralchemy library. Um, it seems to be a pretty popular library, and um, here's a screenshot of the GitHub repo. It looks quite nice. You see the relationships between the different tables and also the cardinality displayed, but um, there's one downside to it. It's not interactive. And if you have a complex model, maybe this is not what you're looking for because you want to rearrange the tables and the entity a relationship diagram according to your own needs and be able to interact with it. Unfortunately, this is not possible with Eralchemy, but I will show you an approach that I came up with um, while trying to find a way to display it in an interactive fashion. So here is what you can do. Of course, to demonstrate it, we need an object relational mapping. Um, I just copied the standard example from SQL Alchemy and added another table and modified it a little bit. And um, you need to install SQL Alchemy and also PyMySQL uh, to be able to connect to the, to the database. So in case you haven't yet installed it on your local machine, you can just run this command here. In my case, it has already been set up. So you see that the requirements already satisfied for both packages. So up until now, this is only Python code, uh, but to visualize it in an interactive fashion, I need to actually load this into my SQL database. Uh, since I don't have any database set up on my local machine, I will just use Docker to create a container which runs my SQL. So how do I do this? Um, I'm just following the instructions in this YouTube video, which is uh, great. I will put it in the show notes. So um, just summarizing the most important part, which is you need to run this command over here. And in this command, it's basically um, setting up the, the container. And uh, the important part is that I'm mapping the ports here to port 3310. Um, since 3306 is often already used by, by other stuff on your local machine. So I'm just using 3310 here. And um, you can set a root password. Um, here I'm just using a test password. So this is a test installation. In a production environment, of course, you want to use uh, your own password and modify this. And this only goes if you haven't already set up a database on your local machine. So I can copy paste this command here and I can execute it in, um, in the terminal. So I will just copy paste it here and run it. And this now is downloading the container. In your case, you might see Docker also downloading some stuff. Um, it's not happening here because I already did it before. So once this has been installed, the next step is to connect it to MySQL Workbench. So for that, I'm starting MySQL Workbench. And here I'm creating a new connection. So going to this creation icon here. So I have to give it a name. Uh, let's call it test. DB. And here the configuration is already correct. So host name, local host, uh, port 3306, change it to 3310, um, username root, and the password that, that we set in Docker, store it in the vault, and checking now if I can connect. So connection is working and under schemas, we find that there's no test schema created yet. So let me also create a test schema, clicking here, call it test schema 
and just apply it, apply finish. And now it has been created. So now we want to create all of the tables in the object relational mapping in this test schema here. So for that, we need to create an engine in SQL Alchemy um, using the MySQL, PyMySQL connector, the username, password, um, the host, port, and also the schema we want to connect to. Like we did that in here. So just confirming this to create the engine. And now, and now we can use this command here, based on metadata or create all engine to set up the tables in the schema, in the local schema. So I'm running this now. And let's check in SQL Alchemy. Now I have to refresh it. And we will see that the tables have been created below. Child table, grandchild table, and parent table. So this is great. Now we have the object relational mapping inside a real table in the Docker MySQL instance. And now um, we just have to visualize it as an entity relationship diagram. How do we do this? So there's a way to do this in MySQL Workbench. You can just hit database here and hit the reverse engineer button. So here you select the database that we just created in Docker and just hit next. It will uh, do some stuff, load some stuff. And here you select the test schema that we've created. Hit next as well. Next again. It asks you um, for which tables you want to create the entity relationship diagram. And we just choose all of the tables here and then run execute. Operation completed successfully. We hit next and finish. And now in here, on this canvas, we see the tables that we just created. And this is interactive. So you can basically move them along, shift them, and you see the connections between them highlighted. And this is great if you have a lot of tables and you want to see the relationships. And also you can hover here, as you see, click uh, to see the connections in more detail. And um, yeah, basically use this to arrange the ER diagram in the way that you need it for your project. Hope this was useful. Uh, see you again soon on my channel.